hello guys today we are going to learn how to make a program to delete the duplicates elements from an array in the most efficient way that is of the complexity big o n so let's let's start the coding include i stream using namespace std and here i am using the compiler microsoft visual studio 2015 community edition and uh, the language is c++ okay so first of all let's make an array with some duplicate entries here's my list say of 10 elements having 3 1 2 1 6 2 4 8 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 okay so here you can see that the three is encountered two times one is here for three times and two is also for two times so here are some duplicate entries in the array what we are going to do is delete those entries and uh, yeah that's it so let's begin here i am going to make another array which will be our hash table which contains the yeah you will see later just make it set it Uh, I'm going to name it hash. Okay. And give them values zero, or I will do it by loop. So make a loop, and uh, initialize my array by inserting zero at all positions. Hmm. Remember what you have to give the default value, which is not. which should not be present in the array that is the zero is not present in the array if uh, by chance is there any elements whose value is zero so you can take any value like minus 1 or minus 99 or anything so in this case there is no elements in the list as zero so i am initializing my hash table as zero okay so here is my main algorithm begins make a loop run till 10 times Here is my body of the loop. First of all, make a variable named as k, which will store the current value of list. That is our list i. That is on every iteration, k will become the equal to the element of list. Like on the first iteration, k will be three, and one, and two, and so on. Now. what we are going to do is uh, save the element like 3 on the position 3 of the hash like 2 on the position 2 on the hash and if uh, like uh, i have already saved one on the position 1 on the hash so when i'm going to again save on save one in the hash table and which is already filled by the previous one that is we got a duplicate and we will not store in the hash so this way we are going to eliminate all our duplicates from the list so if b k here k becomes the index that is the value becomes the index so 3 will be stored on the hash table on the index of 3 so b k will become equal to sorry wait a minute if b k 0 that is the position is empty and k is not equal to 0 so b k what is b oh my god so sorry it is hash and when hash k is uh, empty so we will save the number on the index of the same like uh, if we got 2 so we will save on the hash table of index 2 and this will be done by this statement and the same we are not have to make change in the hash table what we are have to do to delete the elements from list so we'll also make the change in the list so here is the statement to change to make change in the list will become hash okay now what is j j is the iterator for the list so we will initialize j as 0 and it will increment every time we fill in the list j so here comes the increment statement 
Mm, one more thing, uh, I will print my list here. Ej. Uh, that is, I am not going to make another loop for displaying my list. So I am embedding it in this loop. Now, what if the we got an duplicate? If we got an end duplicate, so what we do that put a zero on the last of the list that is on the end of the list which is pointed by our max that is nine. So our max will become zero and max minus one is that is if we have three duplicate entries in the list array so we will have three zero on the last of the list and uh, at last return zero now this is our program now let's run it and check if it works i'm going to compile it takes time sometimes when you are in hurry and that's it you can say the elements three yeah done it one yeah okay two yeah and when the one comes up um it skips it and uh, go on the next element six two is also repeated element so go on the next four eight and this way all the duplicate entries have been deleted and i haven't printed them like yeah it always be zero zero and zero so all is done and all i have used any no any nested loop there is only one loop so its complexity will be big o n thanks for watching guys please subscribe the channel like the video